when you work with organizations and you're talking about applying uh, statistics, let's say to attrition rate, uh, right. you know, predict attrition. Uh, tell us kind of how does that usually go? You're you're talking with the CEO and they might be in any industry um, right. and you're like, well, I can help you with that predictability. Correct. How does so, that come across? Yeah. So about 10, I had been trained in reliability statistics probably 20, 30 years ago. And it's traditionally manufacturing where we're looking at, okay, we have a machine. How long is that machine going to go until it breaks down? So if you think about your car, we get a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. So we don't expect our car to break down within that time. But then after it hits 40, 50,000, we think, okay, something's going to happen. And so we, our mindset is always about machines and parts but the statistics all if you replace parts with people it's exactly the same thing the moment we hire somebody there is a probability they're going to leave and we know that some people stay 30 40 years at a company some people stay 30 40 minutes at a company you know they walk in they got people don't show up anymore people don't (laughs) even show up and so if you model that time until people leave, it follows exactly the same behavior as machines and parts. And if we utilize the that, that methodology, we can predict, if we had a thousand people in our organization, we could predict relatively closely that 186 plus or minus 10 are going to leave next year, which means I can budget that I know in my budget, I have to have dollars to recruit, dollars to train, all of those sorts of costs that are associated with training, I know how to budget. And then I also know because it's 186, that I need to go out and recruit to get ahead of that, to close that uh, time to replace that employee. Now, the thing is, I don't know whether it's you or me or who's gonna leave next year. I can't predict the person, but I can predict the quantity. Thank you once again for tuning in to This Week at Work. If you enjoy the show, please share it with your colleagues. Forward our invites. Share the link aimea.org forward slash This Week at Work or follow or subscribe wherever you get your news and entertainment like LinkedIn, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We're everywhere you are. And you can be part of the show. Send your questions and comments anytime to info at thisweek.work. We'll see you next week, 7.30 a.m. Central Time, when we discuss what's happening this week at work.